This type of problem is a type of problem that we commonly refer to as a mixture problem. And it reads, a coffee merchant has coffee beans that sell for $9 per pound and $12 per pound. The two types are to be mixed together to create 100 pounds of a mixture that will sell for $11.25 per pound. How much of each type of bean should be used in the mixture? Notice that the first thing I've written here are the variables that I'm going to use and the quantities that they represent. X equals the amount of $9 coffee beans and Y equals the amount of $12 coffee beans. And my goal is to come up with a system of two equations based on these variables that I can then use to solve the problem. My first equation is going to be based on the amount of coffee beans. Notice that in the problem we're told that the two types of coffee beans are going to be mixed together to create a mixture equaling 100 pounds. And so if I take the amount of $9 coffee beans and add the amount of $12 coffee beans, that will equal 100 pounds. My first equation then is simply x plus y equals 100. My second equation is going to be based on the value of the coffee beans. And so this is where all those dollar amounts are going to come into play. For example, the value of the $9 coffee beans in the mixture can be represented by the expression 9 times x. So I've just taken the dollar amount and multiplied it by the variable representing the, representing the amount of coffee beans. Similarly, the expression to represent the value of the $12 coffee beans in the mixture will be 12y. So again, I'm just taking the dollar amount and multiplying it by the amount of coffee beans. And then the value of the mixture will be found in the same way. I simply take the dollar amount and multiply it by the amount. And so if we take the value of the $9 coffee beans and add it to the value of the $12 coffee beans, that should equal the value of the mixture. And I can simplify this second equation just a little bit. 9x plus 12y, and if I go ahead and multiply the 11.25 with the 100, I get a result of 1,125. So my two equations will be x plus y equals 100 and 9x plus 12y equals 1,125. Now that we have the system of two equations that we can use to solve the problem, it's kind of all downhill from there. Because for most students, coming up with those two equations is the most challenging part. So from here, you can choose to solve this system using whichever method you prefer. You can solve it by graphing, you can solve it by elimination, or you can solve it by substitution, which is the method that I'm going to use to finish off this problem. So let's solve this system using um, substitution. And so I'm just going to solve one of the equations for one of the variables. I'm going to take this first equation and solve it for y. Subtracting x from both sides gives me y equals 100 minus x. And this is the expression I'm then going to plug in for y into the second equation. So here's what it looks like. 9x plus 12, and then instead of writing y, I'm going to write 100 minus x. Now my goal is to solve this equation for x. So I'm first going to multiply um, uh, and distribute the 12, so that gives me 9x plus 1200 minus 12x equals 1125. Next, I'm going to combine like terms, which gives me negative 3x plus 1200 equals 1125. And we're almost there. Now I'm going to subtract 1200 from both sides which gives me negative 3x equals negative 75. Finally, I'm going to divide both sides by negative 3, which gives me x equals positive 25. Now I need to use x equals 25 to 
solve for y. So I can go back to either one of my equations. I'm going to use the first equation since it's a little simpler. And I'm even going to use this version of the first equation. Because as soon as I plug in x equals 25, my answer is going to be right in front of me. So I'm going to um, substitute 25 for x and I see then that y is 75. Now let's go back to our original problem and make sense of these values. We found that x equaled 25 and since x equaled the amount of $9 coffee beans in our statement that implies that the amount of $9 coffee beans is going to be 25 pounds and since y represented the amount of $12 coffee beans and we found y to be 75 that means that the amount of $12 coffee beans will be 75 pounds <laughs>